What's good guys? Welcome to the Timber Kevin Network. I know you guys almost forgot that's what the channel is called. Um, ever since we started doing the Not So Daily Show, we haven't really had a chance to like catch up and talk. So I thought we might do it today, especially because the um, reaction to the Not So Daily interview with Hongani Glover has been so amazing. A lot of you guys love that. If you haven't watched it, please go check it out. But I just thought I'd reflect on the interview, reflect on the stuff we've been doing uh, lately and just, you know, touch base with you guys. So following up with that experience, we are definitely going to be doing like a lot more interviews. We are looking to get some guests. If you guys are on like my Instagram, uh, which is at KVN underscore, I'll leave it right here. You will have known or you might have known or yeah, however you say it. Yes. Yeah, so following up from that Hungani interview, we have decided that we're definitely going to follow through with the interview series. Um, if you've engaged with the content on this page, you might remember that we did like a few interviews before. We did um, inter an interview with uh, Tabang and Sandile. That was our very first interview. We did Natasha, we did Dr. Sivu, we did Nick Soul. So the reason that we came back to the interviews is because on Instagram, uh, Hungani was like, yo, um, I like the show or something. I posted something with a not so daily show and it was just like big ups. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm actually thinking of doing interviews again. Um, then I asked the people if they'd like to have him and they were like, yeah, we'd like to have him. And that's how the interview came about. But I was like never ready for like the reception it got. Also, just meeting, interacting with Ungani was just such a pleasure, dude. Um, the guy is like so willing to share, so willing to help. We engaged ideas, talked about everything from film to to acting, to travels, to business, to like everything. Like the interview on the page is an hour long, but the conversations were like probably like three times that. So I just realized that for myself and for you guys, it's such a great opportunity to like learn from the people that we love to see on the screens. So yeah, that's definitely something we're going to continue to do. And staying with the theme of how it started, I would like you guys to help request some of the guys you'd like to see on the show. So yeah, do let me know who you guys would love to see on the show. I've got a few names that I've thought of and I'd just love to collaborate with you guys on coming up with like, yeah, the guests so that I know it's people you guys want to see and not just like the people I like because um, there are a lot of people that I look up to and I'm sure you guys the same. So yeah, do like uh do like go in the comment section tell me who you guys would love to see and we'll see if we can make that happen what i've noticed is that you know um as much as like actors and entertainers and people on tv people in business uh seem so far um they're actually just normal human beings some of them are very kind human beings i.e hungani and uh, yeah, so it might just be very like interesting to just um, see how far we can go with that. And in sticking to the theme of this video, we've decided to do like more behind the scenes stuff. Like I mentioned with the Ongani interview, I would have loved to show you guys some of the behind the scenes stuff like Ongani coming into the studio, some of the fun stuff that we, the chats we have, because um, also with my friend and the, my business partner in played Forward Media, Blaze, who usually shoots the, the show, uh, he's like a very interesting dude. And whenever we have a guest through the conversations that they spark up, especially like um, usually some of our actors like Ungani. Ungani has studied overseas. Some of the guys studied at Avda. Some of the guys are self-taught. Some of the guys studied at Vits. So uh, Blaze being from Vits, they also like have great convos about acting schools, film schools, those type of things. So just to like let you guys in on that, because I know some of the people that watch the show are actually keen on getting into the industry. So that's something that we're trying to incorporate. Um, so yeah, staying with that theme, we're looking to do like some, what I'd call not so daily vlogs. <laughs> so yeah, it'll just be like, um, let you guys into the writing process of the show. Because some people have also asked me, how do you write the stuff for the show? You know, um, just what's the process? How long does it take? So those questions will be answered. Um, a lot of those stuff will be answered. Uh, which brings me to something I want to show you guys. So we also got this guy. Uh, we got a camera to be able to do all these behind the scenes stuff and like shoot more casually. Like, yeah. 
uh, because it is a not so daily show and we do want to really stick to that name and stick to that theme of the show so this camera is called the zv1 it's a sony camera uh, when i was doing the research for this camera uh, a lot of people compared it to a uh, canon m50 which is what most people consider the best vlogging camera what it's dubbed a great vlogging camera so the zv1 is a camera that sony took out I don't know if directed to compete with that, but to conquer the YouTube vlogging space. But I was interested in it. And just before we shot the Ongani interview, Blaze and I went to a camera shop in Rosebank and we were looking for some stuff. We actually got this lapel mic. We got a few things. And I just asked uh, if they've got the ZV-1. And dude, I did not believe what I saw. This camera is like tiny. It fits in my palm like this. And that sold me on the camera because... When I started on YouTube, like I said in the interview, I was um, vlogging with my girlfriend. And the thing that, well, we both didn't like is how big like the camera we used to vlog was and just how even when we wanted to put it down and have dinner, or do whatever, you know, it was just such a drag. So that's why I was sold on this camera. Uh, this is not an unboxing video, but I might as well show you guys because... Yeah, this channel is about learning. So yeah, this is what the camera looks like. I haven't really opened it yet. So yeah, this is the size of this thing, dude. Uh, I'll just hold it next to this Red Bull thing to you guys see. It's like puny. And when I was watching the reviews, another thing I liked is that it comes with this blaze. Is this called a muff? Uh, okay. Is it for, for okay. Yeah, it's mic? yeah. So yeah, okay, so yeah, <laughs> so yeah, the camera comes with this little windshield, so apparently the guys have worked uh, very hard on the sound, you know, it's not going to be better than a lapel or an actual mic, but it's probably better than any camera mic you can get, like I said, it's tiny, that's what I love about it, uh, <clears throat> The only bad thing I've heard about this camera is that the battery doesn't last. And yeah, I guess that would be expected seeing how tiny it is. Uh, so yeah, it's a 4K camera. So hopefully the quality will be up to scratch. But yeah, that's just one of the things we're really trying to do to just bring the content through. And um, so moving forward, the plans for the show is... Uh, to go bigger and better with the not so daily show to go bigger and like huge i don't know about better after starting off with ungani but to go like a lot bigger with the not so daily interviews and to bring some new and fresh concepts onto the show um i was blaze if he wants to be part of this video and this guy said nah but yeah dude let the people meet you bruh come on come do it dude come through you dog ah this guy all right so blaze huh eh? <laughs> yeah, so Blaze was going to be in the video, but yeah, the plans to to just grow the channel, grow the whole idea of what we're trying to build is just uh, to take it a lot further. We are like a partnership of like, um, as the owners of Blade Forward Media, it's me and Blaze. Blaze has like a very strong background in video creation. He has... Uh, conceptualized shots and made a web series he's made various short films he's made amazing content which you guys will like also get to see on our website that's coming soon but i'll also link you guys to his personal youtube page so you guys can see some of the work he's done and yeah together with our similar but different interests we're trying to uh, create a really amazing product man product uh, some great concepts some great content that you guys can engage with so yeah do stay tuned to all the new subscribers thank you for coming through if you came through because of ungani uh stay locked don't go away we'll get um a lot more content that you guys will enjoy also ungani is like a great friend of the shows now so um you might just see him pop up here and there and uh yeah guys um that is a lot of what i wanted to cover today and yeah thank you so much for engaging with the content thank you for so much for supporting and um yeah drop a comment um hit the subscribe button don't forget to do that 
Um, I have to say that because I don't want you guys to go away. But in a nutshell, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for engaging with the interview. Thank you guys for leaving all your comments. And yeah, we look forward to being with you guys and growing with you guys as a family. You know, people always testify. I started with this channel at 100k for no man. I started with this channel at 100 followers, at 100 subscribers, at 50 subscribers, and now they're this big. So we want you guys to be part of that gang for us. So yeah, um, do that. And yeah, mm, until the next. Sorry, uh, Nigga, maybe you wanna remind them to tell you about any people you wanna see for the interview. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll wait, I'll wait. So yeah, uh, the, for the um, next. Not a daily interview. Start putting in your names uh, in the comment section. Engage with me on Instagram. Engage with me on Twitter, wherever you can. And just drop those suggestions. I will let you guys know in the not so daily vlogs and also in the DMs what is happening with those interviews that you have requested, what the guys are saying. And um, yeah, if ever maybe I'm out and I run into someone that you guys have requested i'll just whip out the pocket size camera and ask them live in front of you guys whether they want to come on the show or not so yeah just stay tuned um yeah a lot's gonna happen for the channel so yeah thanks guys cheers